Hi, I'm Dale Cobb, and welcome to Success Path 60 Second Resume Building Seminar. In this segment, I'm going to be overviewing or highlighting the components or elements of a modern, well crafted resume. In follow up segments, I'll be going over each in greater detail. To help you remember the pieces a little easier, I've assembled an acrostic or acronym using the word career, identifying each of the six main components. So let's get started. The letter C in the career model stands for contact information and it also includes your name. It should go at the very top of the resume, but never in the header of a Microsoft Word document. And I'll talk more about that in a later segment. The letter A in the career model stands for application target. This is the identical title of the job found in a very specific job description, or very specifically what the position is called in the company you're applying into. The first letter R in the career model stands for relevant strengths. This is a summary of qualifications for a very specific position that you're applying for. This may include a mix of paragraph, bulleting, and list formats. The first letter E in the career model stands for experience. This is your work history and should always appear in reverse chronological order with the most recent experience first. The second letter E in the career model stands for education and should include any diplomas or degrees and may also include certificates and appropriate continuing education or coursework. It may refer to on-the-job training if formal education is lacking. The second letter R in the career model stands for relevant additions. This is a catch-all category that it might include short endorsement, relevant volunteer work, or really any number of things. This model can be configured in a single-page version, a two-page version, and sometimes rarely in a multi-page version. This career model is set up for the marketplace. The order might be tweaked for special applications. For example, if you're applying for a job in education, that section might be emphasized and moved closer to the top. But don't let the career advisor working in education convince you that that section belongs at the top if you're applying in the marketplace. This is common but incorrect advice. Again, in following sessions, I'll be spending more time on each of the six components. I'm Dale Cobb, and I'll see you on the path.